This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. See it. it will be fighting to be seen, Harriet. I think it's quite poetic. Or pitiful? Actually, it's kind of like the rest of this place. Jacob, I think it's perfect. Oh. Oh. Coffee's ready in 10 minutes. I'll be right there. Could this be the little spark? Oh. Harriet, you know? we've got sparkle. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Might be time to have someone come and take a look at that. Just gotta have the magic touch. Plus it deters thieves. Ah, yes. Let there be light every time. True, but our company is willing to invest a significant amount of money into buying and developing your building. All right. In the spirit of Christmas, I am willing to raise my offer one last time. I'm about to pick up my daughter for the holidays, so I don't have time to do this dance. Let's make this a Merry Christmas for both of us, huh? What do you say? Nantucket. Ocean? The beach? But it's winter. I can't go swimming. No, but... Oh, there's your dad now. Yeah. There's my girl. Oh. You all set? Good morning, Warren. Andy? Can I call you every day? Oh, you can call me anytime you want. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> It's only two weeks. And I bet it's going to be the best two weeks of your life. Did you know your bedroom has a balcony overlooking the ocean? My bedroom has a balcony? Yep. Your grandpa wants to see you ASAP. Wow, Wink, aren't you lucky? Hmm? Now you be good for dad and grandpa, OK? I will, I promise. Hi, Manny. Hello there, Miss Wink. Did you know that my bedroom has a balcony? That's wonderful news. Just uh, take care of her. And remember to have her back by the 29th. Christmas presents. Right. You didn't happen to get Wink anything for me, did you? We're not married anymore, Andy, so that would be a no. You'll have to do your own Christmas shopping. That's just a little something for Wink to open for me on Christmas. Fair enough. I deserve that. I'm sure there's a toy store in the island. I'd appreciate it if you didn't encourage her to call any time an issue came up. You know, the whole point of this was to give Wink and I a chance to bond, you know, just the two of us. That would require you to be present. You can't just park Wink with a sitter while you work. I know. Merry Christmas, Lauren. Merry Christmas, Andy. I love you, Wink! Bye, Mom! I love you, too! Merry Christmas! You know, legend says if you see a mermaid, your troubles will fade and blessings will find you. Can you help me? All right, so can you do the tail right there? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I love that.
So then I said, well, I don't know about that. You said that? I said that. To his face? Right to his face, yes. Of course I'm going to say that. Guys, yeah. Finally, Jacob wouldn't spill until we were all here. You know how I like an audience. Thanks, Wally. So, what's the tea? Some muddy sort of chai blend. Okay, anyways, um, so I have it on very good authority that Oscar Biddlesman, the real estate mogul who just bought that place out in Wisconsin. It's is... not really my style. I prefer mid-century modern, but it is a classic. <clears throat> right, carry on. Anyway, the word is Mr. Biddlesman is planning on retiring to the island. And, and he's, he's redeveloping the wharf. That's ridiculous. Martins would never sell to some wash ashore developer. Yeah, Edward Martin might not have, but he left the wharf to his children, and they want to cash out. Well, what does this Biddlesman, sounds like a fake name, plan to even do? I heard it's the R word, revitalization. What is revitalization? Well, I slap on a coat of fresh paint, raise our rents a little, call it a day. Do you know that for a fact? Does anybody really know anything? Personally, I think a change of ownership could be good. Or they kick us all out and tear it all down. Let's try to focus on the positive. Well, if you expect the worst, then you'll never be disappointed. Sounds like island gossip to me. Exactly. It's a week until Christmas, and the Seaside Noel kicks off tonight. Until I see something in writing, it's all just hearsay. And we've got a boat parade to set up. Oh, my boat is good to go. Well, I wanted to show you something. I thought we were going to Grandpa's. We are. First, I wanted to show you why your grandpa moved here. This wharf, actually this spot right here, is your grandma's favorite place. Cool. You know what? My mom used to say, your destiny is like a sailboat out at sea. You can steer it left or right, any direction you like, but the wind will always take you where you're supposed to be. What's that supposed to mean? Now, sometimes I forget how old you are, but one day you will appreciate my passed down wisdom. What would anyone want to change about this place? Well, I could change a few things. Come on, Pam. Hold, hold on. I gotta take this, okay? Yeah, Ben. Hey, you have a deal? Dad, look, a sailboat steering wheel, like Grandma used to. No, no, no. Say. Huh. I'm just saying, things here aren't as bad as you think. Look at this. Well, how many times have I told you? You don't put sails with shells, Jacob. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Totally. Well, that's a problem. It's barely a crack. I think the wharf is sinking. You all right there, Christina? Perfect. Well, you've been very helpful. Thank you. So are you sure you don't need anything else? No, this is uh, me right here. Happiest place in Nantucket. You own a toy store? Didn't you see the sign, Dad? Oh, wow, look at that. You know, I was just telling Wink, uh, this is my daughter, Wink. Hi, Wink, I'm Christina. I'm Andy. Hi. I was just telling Wink that my parents used to bring me down here every summer. My mom used to love the lighthouse in the wharf. Oh, yeah, that's a great spot. But it's not summer now. No, but tonight is the launch of the Seaside Noel. We're having a boat parade. You guys should come by. Really? Uh, well, we just got into town. Uh, one second. I gotta take this. Uh, uh, five minutes, Wink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, Ben, but we've been going through negotiations for weeks. I'm not gonna keep doing this. All right. I love mermaids, don't you? You know, Nantucket is mermaid country. Legend has it they live just off the coast here. Have you ever seen one? Not yet, but my mom did once. Mermaids are good luck, you know. It doesn't quite work the same way if you just keep it inside your jacket. I'm sorry. Am I in trouble? I'd have to ask the big guy. Santa. 
Taking stuff without pain doesn't usually get you on the nice list. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I believe you, Wink. That must be short for something. Winifred. I was named after my grandma, who used to love to sail. I bet she was smart like you. How about you promise to never do it again, and I won't tell Santa. Are you gonna tell my dad? Tell dad what? I still a mermaid. Wink, you know better. I said I was sorry. She promised not to do it again, and honestly, I'm happy to let it go. Well, I appreciate that, but I think we should make it right. Don't you? I have a great idea. The shop can get pretty busy at Christmas, and I could use an extra hand. Maybe you could help me out tomorrow morning, and we'll call it even. What do you say, Wink? OK, that's fine with me. We have a deal. Thank you, Christina. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yes, you will. Come on, Wink. Let's go. <clears throat> nice socks. Oh. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're here. Hey, Dad. Great to see you. Wow. What a place. Oh, wait till you see the view. And who's this big girl beside you? Hi, Grandpa. You're almost as big as your dad. No, I'm more like my mom. Well, welcome aboard. Well, that's how the islanders talk here. Well, OK. All right, right Captain. How you feeling, Dad? Oh, fine. It was just a scare, like I told you before. There's nothing to be too concerned about. Get big enough to move here. Between you and Janice, I'm not going to hear the end of it. Janice? Let me guess. He's telling you it's impossible to find good help. Well, when it comes to business, I can confirm he is a tough one to please. This is Janice, my drill sergeant. Or housekeeper and chef. Well, he's lucky to have you. Oh, I'm wearing him down bit by bit. No, that's <laughs> one way of putting it. <laughs> What are you up to now? Christmas lights. I found these in the unpacked boxes in the garage, and they still work. Janice has been on my case to put up Christmas decorations. You don't have any decorations? Well, now I've just settled in. But you can't do Christmas without decorations, can you? I'm sure Grandpa has a lot going on, sweetie. I'd say you have a very smart granddaughter. Hi, Wink. I'm Janice. Hi. If you need anything, you come to me, OK? Now, let's get those bags inside. I'm so glad you finally made it. Your ferry got in a couple of hours ago. What took you so long? Oh, we stopped by the wharf. I wanted to show Wink around. And what do you think? Oh, it's still a beautiful spot. But, uh, you're right. The docks are definitely showing their age. The land is prime real estate. It's still a solid investment. Absolutely, but, but I thought the whole point of you moving here was to retire, not to start a new project. Biddlesmans never say no to a good opportunity. Yes, I am well aware of the Biddlemans business model, Dad. Besides that, this project would be really important to your mother. You don't have a tree either? Now that, I was waiting for you. Wink, you must be hungry. Yes, but can I just see my room first? Sure can. Let's get you settled in. You're right. This view is incredible. So, how's she doing? She's been acting out. Well, this is her first Christmas without her mother around. That's normal. She tried to steal a toy mermaid. She what? The owner of the toy store was very understanding, though, so Wink's going to help her out there to make up for it. Oh, good. Learning a little work ethic at her age never hurt anyone. Exactly what she used to say to me. So, what's the plan with the wharf? I'm not sure yet. We're going to the boat parade tonight so I can take a look at things in person. Okay, 
Word is, the new developer, Oscar Bilsman, is coming tonight. Really? I'd like to meet him. Well, looks like we made it. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad you did. Me too. Wink, there's uh, letters to Santa Station over there. Could help you get back on the nice list. Yeah, come on, Dad, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, who was that? Andy and Wink. I met them earlier. Right, when you fell. I didn't fall. Doesn't matter, okay? The wharf isn't broken. Okay, well, all I'm saying is that that man could be Brad Pitt's younger brother. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that bone structure. Okay, let's get it started, okay? Okay. Uh, Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Most of you know me already, but I'm Christina Antoni, and I am head of the Nantucket Historical Society. And it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the 44th annual Seaside Noel. We have an exciting week of events leading up to Christmas. We have the Christmas Carol and Stroll, the Gingerbread House Contest, the old Christmas movie matinee, and of course the snowball at the Whaley Museum. But the reason you're all here tonight, the Christmas Boat Parade. So without further ado, let's start the parade in three, two, one. My boat glow. Yeah, that's a real showstopper. Feeling just right, you can almost see the lighthouse. So good. <laughs> mm. Well done. When my dad mentioned a boat parade, I didn't realize it would be this beautiful. Well, it was a group effort. Did you see my boat? It was the little one. It was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say your dad is here? Yes, yes. Uh, Christina, this is my father, Oscar. Hi. Hello. And do you know Janice? Of course. Hi, Janice. Always a favorite event every year. Oscar, are you... The Oscar Biddlesman? That's what the doctor tells me. So then you're... Andy Biddlesman. Okay, hi. I rent the toy shop on the wharf, and we heard this silly rumor that there's some sort of revitalization plan. Yes, I thought about revitalization when I read the reports, but seeing it live, that won't be necessary. <laughs> See, I told you it was blown way out of proportion. What I mean is, I don't think revitalization will be enough. Not enough? I knew it. It was clear the current foundation won't hold the new marina. New marina? The wharf is a local treasure. And it's going to be even more spectacular when it's finished. What about all the local shops? The commercial operations will need to be out as soon as possible. Out? But it's Christmas. I understand the timing is tight, but unfortunately, we're on a strict schedule with this one. You can't do this. Excuse me? Dad. Don't you care what we think? I beg your pardon? This is a community. A developer can't just waltz in and start barking orders. With all due respect, it's kind of a cliche. With all due respect, this is a business, my livelihood and an important project to me, not a cliche. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, this is not ideal. Parking ticket is not ideal. This is devastating. Oh, you all act like it's a surprise. I've seen this coming for years. You've only been here for five years. Yeah, and I've had renter's remorse ever since. What? 
Oh, you guys are fine. This place just needs a makeover. Well, your wish is about to come true. I know, I'm so excited. They're not gonna knock down our wharf and build a marina. Ooh, you're in denial, Christina. It's normal for someone who's in a state of shock. I'm serious, they're not gonna take away our shops. It's our tradition, it's our livelihood. And we moved to anger. I have to do something, anything. Here comes the bargaining. She's moving through these stages much faster than I expected. Much faster. Was I too harsh with him? You were passionate. Okay, here's what you need to do. You need to flirt with that cute son of his. What's his name? Um, uh, Adam. Andy. No, I'm not gonna do that. Well, a little friendly fraternization with the, the handsome enemy never hurt anybody. Christina, your shop has been here 25 years. Jacob's nearly as long. We grew up here. We just need to explain... Calmly and kindly. ...how important the wharf is to us. Well, most of us. Your enthusiasm will win him over. Morning, Wink. I've been thinking. Well, you have, have you? We should get a Christmas tree. Did you know Cutwins don't have a family? We could give them one. Just let me know. She Bye. is quite the negotiator. Yeah, I think she gets it from me. But Mom's the lawyer. Breakfast is ready. Well, maybe we can go later. Let's just see how work goes first, okay? But, Dad... That looks delicious, Janice. What's this nonsense? It's called health. Enjoy. <laughs> that woman. There's a piece in today's paper. Wharf development sparks debate among local businesses. I can't imagine who would be behind that. We have to make sure this debate doesn't turn into a protest. Well, you know, a meeting with the tenants could go a long way in smoothing things over. Wink's going to be helping out Christina at the toy store today. We'll talk to her. Good luck. That one's a handful. Some cookies for Christina. Wink, you can say these are from Oscar. Oh, now, we don't need to do that. No, but she's a lovely girl. And a little kindness at Christmas never hurt anyone. It's like she's got x-ray vision. I like her. Merry Christmas. Good morning. Good morning. Cookies for my grandpa? Your grandpa, the Oscar Biddlesman, made cookies for me? It's very thoughtful of him. Janice, I, I mean, Grandpa said that a little kindness at Christmas can never hurt anyone. They're really delicious. Well, please tell Janice, oh, I mean, your grandpa, that I really appreciate it. Do you put these inside for me and I'll be right in? Sure. All right, kid, I'll come back and pick you up in um, two hours. Two hours is great. Bye, Dad. Bye, kiddo. You're not sticking around? I've got a little work to do. Right. Other shopkeepers to evict. I really do feel bad about that. Does that mean we have to be enemies now? I don't believe in enemies. Good. So you know I do work with my dad, but he's the one handling this project. So all my endearing stories about how the wharf is a, an important part of Nantucket's history, or that my mother started the shop 25 years ago, would be wasted on you? Pretty much. But consolation, my dad did buy a house here. He's technically local now. So anything he does will be in the best interest of the community. Actually, that's what we would call a wash ashore. What? Only born and bred Nantuckians are considered locals. I'll let you tell him that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. You do look friendly. Definitely fraternizing. Definitely fraternizing. Mm-hmm. Two hours? Two, Two hours. Two hours. Got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Have a cookie. Your grandpa's cookies are a hit. We should charge for them. Whatever happened to a little kindness at Christmas never hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at this. Well, no one ever became an expert in an hour. 
Do you want a little tip? Sure, why not? Okay, so you put the box in the middle, upside down, and then fold the paper over in the middle, fold down, fold down, triangle up. Who taught you how to wrap? My mom. We used to work here together. She painted that mural. That's her right there. She's pretty. My mom's pretty too. I bet she is. Is your mom with you for Christmas? No, she's in Connecticut. Can I call her? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Mom, yeah, it's me. No, not yet. We don't even have a Christmas tree. Dad said maybe later. I miss you. Went great. Yeah, yeah, I'm close to town hall, but I gotta pick up Wink soon. Sure, Dad. I can meet with the city planners real quick. Okay. Can I try again? Of course. Do you remember the tip? Fold down, fold down, triangle up. You got it. You know, my parents split up when I was young, too. And I live with my mom, so I didn't get to see my dad very much. Did he work a lot, too? Sort of. He moved far away. Just think how lucky you are that you have a mom and a dad who love you very much. And now you get two Christmases. It's way better than one. Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes change can be hard because it's different, but change is actually a good thing. Like with you in the wharf? Well, that's a little bit more complicated than... Hey, nice job. I did it. <laughs> you did. You can show your dad your good work when he gets here. He's always late. Well, he's a little bit late, but, but I'm not worried. We still have lots of wrapping to do and plenty of cookies to eat. You know what we need? Music. It's done. It's perfect. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. You think you'll see a mermaid? We might. They're probably watching us right now. I want to see one. Me too. But the only place I know for sure there's been a mermaid sighting is in Mermaid Cove, right over there. Can we go there? We should probably ask your dad. Ask dad what? Dad! Real mermaids! Cool. Sorry, I'm like, kind of got held up. We were just finishing the last of the Christmas cookies. Although we probably could have gone for lunch if we knew what time you were actually coming. Yeah, that's my bad. Sorry. Still hungry? I'm full on cookies. Sugar high. Noted. Saw you closed early. Everything okay? Yeah, just a minor electrical issue. She lost all power. It was crazy. Wow, well, do you have an electrician coming? Absolutely. In two days. You're not gonna have power for two days? This time of year is pretty busy with Christmas light mishaps. I'm thinking I'll use it to my advantage and bring back flashlights. Make it an in-store scavenger hunt. We could do that, or I could just take a look. You know, they don't call me a handy Andy for nothing. No one called you that, Dad. Someone called me that. Was. How's it going over there? Ah, uh, just navigating my way through all the duct tape and string. String adds character. Only it added power. You know, I think you could find a pretty nice shop somewhere on Main Street with things like heat, electricity, no strings attached. Very funny. There's nothing wrong with being a little antique. Yeah, well, more like archaic. <laughs> Would you look at that? Way to go, Dad. Ah, well, I fixed it temporarily, but I'm not sure how long it'll hold. Well, that's okay. I've got more duct tape. 
I'm sure you do. <laughs> but seriously, you might want to consider moving. Besides trying to get me out of here, thank you for your help. You're welcome. How did you learn to do that? Well, when you work on a few developments, you learn a thing or two along the way. Well, I feel like I should repay you. That's honestly not necessary. Besides, I feel like I kind of owe you anyway. Well, it is time to get you home for dinner. I heard you don't have a tree yet. Yeah, we, uh, not yet. Perhaps tomorrow I can help. I know the local secret spot. Come on, Dad, please. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Bye, Christina. Bye, thanks for your help. Bye. Bye. I'm surprised and glad that you made it. Well, us Washa Shores aren't going to turn down an invite to a local secret spot. So, uh, what are you, some kind of Christmas tree expert? I've been known to dabble. Christmas is my favorite time of year. There's something so hopeful about Christmas. You know, you sound just like me. Well, kids see the world with such openness. It's how we all were before the world hardened us. You don't seem hardened. Oh, me, I'm not. I meant in general. Wow, this one's huge. See, ah, Nordic spruce. This is a great tree, but Nordics drop a lot of needles, and I'm not sure Janice or your grandfather would like that very much. Definitely not. So, let me keep looking. You know, no reason to settle on the first one we see. Yes, we will be Christmas tree connoisseurs. Yeah. Circling back to your father. We are circling back now, are we? Yeah, you like how I did that? Very similar. What are my chances of changing his mind about the wharf? Honestly, not great. I met with the city planners yesterday, which is actually why I was late. I thought this was your father's project. It is. He asked me to do a favor, and he's a hard one to say no to. At the meeting, there were people that thought a new marina would be a good thing. You know, it could provide a lot of jobs. Well, shutting down the shutters. They're my wharf friends. It's a nickname we got because all of our shops are converted fishermen sheds. The shutters, I'm picturing matching jean jackets. <laughs> no, <laughs> Harriet would never approve. She runs Nantucket Couture, but she considers herself to be high fashion. She's actually the most open to moving. I'm liking the sound of this, Harriet. What if we want to stay? Well, your rent will be adjusted to market rates. And it could be a year or two before the new marina's ready. So either way, we have to leave and our rent goes up. Look, I understand this is your business, but... Technically, I'm not involved. Yet it kind of seems like you are. This isn't about profit for me. Well, then what's it about? My family's been here for three generations. My mom opened the store when I was seven. It was her vision, and now it's mine. Do you think this one will fit in Grandpa's house? Wow, what is it? Noble fur. I like the name. Noble furs are my favorite. They have the strongest branches and the best smell. You gotta try it. <laughs> we have a winner. Yay! <laughs> Did you get the door for us, Wink? Thanks, me. Oh, oh, oh. No fault. <laughs> Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, my dad has always been great at hiring people with good taste. Can I give Christina a tour? How about we get the tree set up first, kiddo? Uh, are you sure I should stay? I'm gonna make the best first impression with your dad. But we want you here. Yeah, I mean, who's gonna help us decorate if not the Christmas expert, huh? Okay. All right, the living room is this way. What do we have here? A Christmas tree. All right.
this. I'll, I'll be right back. Hey, Ben, you got the paperwork? Oh, that's the short bread. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, let know we got a deadline. There's only right. one left. Huh. Let him know. How are we going to get that on the tree? Dad? Okay. Could you help us? Yeah. One minute, okay? Sorry, Ben. What was that? You know, I haven't been keeping up with my medicine ball lunges, but I think I can give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. You got it. <laughs> it fits. Good job. <sighs> Dad, look. It's done. Yes, I can see that. Oh, Grandpa. We got a tree. And you decorated it. Oh. I thought it was okay. Where'd the tree come from? It was, it was my idea. Why am I not surprised? Mr. Biddlesman, I know it's not my place, but how can you not love it? It's beautiful and, and it's Christmas. You're right. It's not your place. Oh, hey, Dad. I see you didn't waste any time. I should go. But I thought you could stay to read our story. It's Christmas tradition. I'd love to, but it's getting late. Shortbread is ready. If you'll excuse me, I've had a long day. Good evening. I'll call a cab. No. I'll give you a ride. But I thought we were going to read the story. When I get back, okay? You can uh, stop here. My, my house is just up those stairs. Well, thanks for the ride. I'm sorry. I was trying to help, and I made a mess. It's not your fault. Does your dad hate Christmas or something? No. No, it's just, we used to do this big thing with my mom. She was always the one who initiated it. You think you wanted to be involved? Honestly, I think it was a lighthouse tree top. My mom got it, and they had this tradition of putting it on the tree together. And then he walked in and saw me putting it on with Wink. I feel awful. There's no way you could have known. Besides... <laughs> Wink had a blast. So. It was really fun. Wink is so great. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is her first Christmas with just me. All you can do is just be there for her. I'm trying. That's why we're here. Does your phone always do that? Mm, it's just work. <laughs> Sorry. What was I saying? Don't people know what time it is? It's fine. I have a few developments going on in New York with my dad retiring. <sighs> Just seems like work's never been busier. Sounds stressful. You know, nobody ever said in their final moments, I wish I worked more. Sometimes it's just about knowing what matters most to you. It wasn't her place to get the tree and decorate it. Listen, Dad, I'm sorry we went and got the tree without you. It was not intentional. And Christina had no idea that the tree topper was something you and Mom used to do together. She... She feels awful. I was Wink's age when we'd stay on the island for the summer. I forgot he used to come here as a kid. My dad loved this island. But he could never afford a place like this. I swore one day I would buy it. And you did. It's pretty inspiring. When life and work got busy, that lighthouse was your mother's way of reminding me of our visits here. A simpler time. A peace. 
that everything will be okay. I had a great meeting with the other wharf dwellers tonight. They are willing to listen. Christina's a good person, Dad. She and I see things differently. And when did that become such a bad thing? She has a way of acting without thinking about the consequences. Maybe you need to go talk to her. Hear her out. I think you'll see you two aren't so different. Better if you talk to her for me. Sure, Dad. Good night. teaching me how to make cookies for my cookie business. Make sure there's no bumpy spots. My little entrepreneur. You know, you're going to be such an expert. Maybe you can teach me. I already told Mom I would teach her. Hmm. You hungry, Andy? I've got pancakes. Thanks, Chance, but I'll probably just grab something in town. I have a little Christmas business to do. Can we? I'll be back later. OK, Dad. You can do something? You and me? Sure, Dad. Jens, could you let my dad know I'll give him a call? Yeah, he's already at meetings in town. Oh, well, that's never a good sign when the retired guy needs to work. I better go. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Andy. Bye, James. Bye, Dad. Can you believe this vest? Hey. I know. You know what? I think apparently Dickens might have worn this. Good morning. How do I look? Scroogey enough? Very Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes. I'm doing a one-man show of A Christmas Carol today when I debut my new theater troupe during the Christmas Carol and Stroll. You have a theater troupe? <clears throat> so apparently this is a near replica of the original stage production of A Christmas Carol. Your bonnet, sir? I think I'll stick with this one. OK. What is going on? Harry, it's my costume designer. <laughs> you know what they say. If it's good enough for Broadway, it's good enough for me. You two seem unnaturally chipper today. Well, we might have had a casual encounter with the Oscar Biddlesman last night, and he might have made us an incredible offer. And we might have taken it. What? You took it? What was it? It's a very enticing cash bonus if we leave by the end of the year. That's in less than two weeks. Emphasis on very enticing. And now we can follow our dreams. Hence, the new theater troupe. Yeah. Can't believe Oscar Biddlesman thinks he can just buy people out. But what if I win a Tony? I need your help. Well, that's a new approach. Look at that. No flickering. Like a brand new place. Where's Wink? Baking with Janice. Thought I'd get her a gift while I had a minute. Ken's needing my help. Think she'd like this? I heard your dad met with the other Shedders last night. Uh, I didn't know he was going to do that. Hmm. How about this? Did you also not know about the very enticing cash bonus? Is that why you're really here? My dad did ask me to talk to you, but it's not like that, honestly. And what if I helped you find a new place? For someone claiming to not be involved, you are awfully involved. I just want to help. I don't need your help. Okay. 
this is what you'd like. Right. Good call. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not ready to leave. Seriously, what, what, what can I do? Attention all. We must make haste. It's time for the Christmas Carol and Stroll, a Christmas Carol edition. Good Hunt. job. Is this all part of the Seaside Noel? Yes. Come on. Let's go. And I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. And I will live in the past, the present, and the future. And now we sing. Join in if you know it. Five, six, seven, eight. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Look at how cute he shot. I know what you're doing. I'm aware of how cute this town is, and if there are real estate options, I probably know about those as well. Well, did you know about this? There's a notary public that moved in there. A space next to it is free. And uh, do you know what the street doesn't have? Why don't you tell me? A toy store. It's the perfect location. Plenty of foot traffic. Mm, next to a notary? Christina, I really believe the work we do makes a difference in communities, or I wouldn't do it. And I think the offer was fair, the others wouldn't consider it. Yes, but just because other people are doing something doesn't make it right. Would you really be willing to sacrifice everything to go down on a sinking ship? The wharf isn't sinking. Okay, maybe it is a little bit, but that's part of its charm. I want to show you something. Where are you going? It's an adventure. You know I have work to do. You don't have to come. That's the beauty of being free, Andy. You can do whatever you want. Just follow your joy. All right, wait up. How are those shoes working for you? A little heads up would have helped. <laughs> Sorry. I like to be prepared for anything. You never know what the day's going to bring. Oh, yeah? What might today bring? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it really is funny, isn't it? So, why are we here? My mom ran the toy store for nearly my whole life. And when I was old enough, I ran it with her. Every day I looked forward to going to work because I could be anything I wanted to be when I was with her. It may look like a shed to some people, but to me, there's magic within those four walls. That's really beautiful, but... This is my fourth Christmas without my mom around. And the only place I can still feel her presence is at the shop and here. This is Mermaid Cove. My mom used to say, if you see a mermaid, your troubles will fade and blessings will find you. You ever seen one? Still waiting. Wink wants to come here. This could be something you give her. Sometimes an adventure that creates lasting memories is the best kind of gift. Don't you run a toy store? Look, it's a great idea. I just, I don't think Wink wants anything to do with it. Of course she does. She loves you. She just probably thinks that you're too busy with work. I did work a lot during my marriage. What Wink doesn't get is everything I did was for her. Our business... Our company was very busy, and my dad was a workaholic, and he passed on that work ethic to me. He puts a lot of pressure on you. He has high expectations, but for good reason. He's done some amazing things. It could just be kind of tough to juggle sometimes. Sounds like impossible shoes to fill. Have you thought about just being you? Yeah, easier said than done. I have a brilliant idea. We're taking Wink to the gingerbread contest. It'll be good for you to have some fun for once. I have fun? You're wearing a suit at the beach. But, uh, are we really doing this again? Uh, ah. This is the spot. Now, are you sure you're not all cookied out from today? It's totally different, Dad. Totally different. 
possible. Right. So, where do we sit? Oh, over there. There's Molly and Dora. Ah, you did make it. I wouldn't deprive Nantucket these gingerbread house making skills. Pretty confident, are we? Well, you're not going to win two years in a row, Molly. Not on my watch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is Andy and Wink. This is my oldest and dearest friend, Molly, and her daughter, Dora. And this piece of Eden is Molly's cafe. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Welcome. You guys can sit here if you want. It's like a good spot to me. My mom and I went last year for building Santa's reindeer stables. Wow, really? What are you guys going to build? Um... We are going to build the Biddlesman home. We are? But it's humongous. Yeah, which means we're going to need a lot of gingerbread and icing. Lots and lots of icing. Don't forget the candy canes. Mm. Definitely candy canes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 44th annual Seaside Noel Gingerbread House Contest, hosted this year by my new theater troupe. Yes, now every team will get one hour to complete their gingerbread houses, and we will be judging on creativity, execution, and Christmas spirit. Me and my judgy partner, I'm Harriet. Not Judging partner Harriet will be around to check your progress. So, good luck. And ready, ready. set, build. There's a bird ringing. There's a magic the in the air. Choirs are singing, full of joy and happiness. The stars are bright as we share a winter's night. Here's to Christmas. Kids are smiling, making snowmen in the street. People driving to be home with families. The songs they know, playing on the radio. Here's to Christmas. In the window, bleeding snow is falling down. Oh, I've been waiting for this. We've got one more minute. What are you doing? I am going to save this ship. All right, let's get those final touches on. Nearing the finish line. OK, folks, icing down. The judging round will now commence. Judging round. Oh, I like this. Very creative. But I think Mrs. Claus needs to be in the sleigh, too. Ooh, now that, that hits close to home. Very meta. We have reached our decision. Yes. The winner of this year's Seaside Noel Gingerbread House Contest goes to Wink, Andy, and Christina. Oh, we did it! Oh, nice oh, work, Thank you. <laughs> we all did it. I thought we were gonna lose. Did Dad have a genius idea? You're gonna love it. Tell it, Dad. Uh, well, it was nothing, really. I mean, Wink did all the creative work. I just pulled out the old business card. He literally saved the day. Even Christina was impressed, too. Sounds like an eventful night. You might like to join the family business, too. She has quite a knack for it. Would I be able to work with you? I would love that. All right, time to get washed up for bed. Could you read our story? Of course. Oh. Wink, it's your mom. <laughs> mom! We won the gingerbread house contest. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. Dad was amazing. Really? I'm so glad you're having fun. I was just adding some decorations to the tree, and I missed you. I miss you, too. Oh, we got a tree, too. Christina helped us find one. Christina? She owns a toy store. She's been helping us a lot lately. That's nice. Oh, I got to go. Dad's about to read me a bedtime story. Come on, let's get those PJs on, huh? The children were nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their... Heads. 
mom and her kerchief, and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. It needs something. It's missing something, It's missing right? something. Like something Should I have gone missing. with the Christmas? I don't know. I mean, you went with the Christmas. So, I did Christmas. you're really doing it. The Nantucket Theater Troupe is officially opening downtown. Downtown. Wow. I can't believe it. Well, we thought you might have changed your mind as well after seeing you canoodling with Biddlesman Ooh. last night. Mm -hmm. The sparks were definitely flying. Mm -hmm. What? No. We weren't. I was helping his daughter. Helping his daughter. Mm. That's what they call it. Honey, sparks don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She'll come around. Yes, she will. Please tell me you're staying. Actually, I have been thinking. Not you too. Just cheer me out. I found a vacancy near Main Street. And Next I, to the notary? I know, it, it's not great. But there isn't anything else available. I have to think about what's best for Dora. I think I should consider it. No, absolutely. As much as I don't want to lose you, I think you should do it. What's Andy been saying? It's very confusing. He says he's not involved, but yet he's always there doing his father's bidding. His dad is a challenge. What's the deal with you two? I find it best to avoid Oscar. I meant Andy. No deal. His daughter's great. And yet you light up whenever you talk about him. Here we go. You can't stay an island forever. Nantucket is an island. I wasn't talking about Nantucket. OK, I got to go to work. You haven't dated a guy in ages. For good reason. There's not a lot of good prospects here. Which is exactly why it's good to branch out a bit. Just don't shut down. Your mom wouldn't want that. My mom wouldn't want me to lose the shop either. So my priority right now is keeping it afloat, literally. Thanks for the cookie. Have a good day. so good at this. <laughs> Decorating is my favorite part. <laughs> yeah? I think eating is going to be mine. <laughs> Grandpa, want to decorate with us? No sense tempting me if I'm not allowed to eat it. Actually, we have some delicious sugar-free options coming right up for you. Mmm, goody. <laughs> so, Dad, Janice was saying you two used to know each other. Uh, yeah. Her parents' place was down the road from where we would stay. I'd see her on the beach. We were a lot younger back then. A little older than you, Wink. Really? That's cool. Janice was much cooler than me. Ah, but look at you now. Did you talk to Christina? She's not interested in the offer. Why am I not surprised? I've had just about enough of her trouble. Now, I have a meeting to get to. Dad. What if there was some way we could make it work? Make everyone happy? That's impossible. We're tearing down the whole wharf, not part. Is there something between you two? No. Of course not. She's become a friend, okay, to me and Wink. That's it. I'm just looking out for a friend. Now, even if it undermines your father? That's not what I'm doing. You know what? Wink and I have the day off together, and I don't want to ruin it with work. All right. We'll discuss it later. Okay, what do we want to get? Popcorn, roasted chestnuts, or something sweet? How about I grab the tickets inside while you decide? All right, thanks, Janice. You know, Link, I know this Christmas has been harder without your mom, and you acted out a bit at the toy store. I don't know why I stole. I'm sorry I did that. Well, not that it's all right, but I understand, okay? And regardless of what Grandpa said, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You know that, right? I think so. You're the most important person in my life. And even though I haven't been great at showing it in the past, you're my top priority. And, Mom? 
Your mom is a wonderful person and my friend. And she'll always be the angel that gave me you. I think we should get popcorn and roast the chestnuts. Both? Ha. Okay, young lady, you're twisting my arm. Wink, hi. Hey, Dora. Hi. Have you heard from Christina? Uh, no, not today. Why? She's not answering her phone. It's not a big deal, but it's not like her to miss the movie. I think she's still at the shop. She's been taking it pretty hard. Oh. Why don't you go check on her? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to leave Wink. Nonsense, I can watch Wink. Come on, Dad, you have to go find her. I can stay here with Dora. You sure? Yeah, and you know, there's no rush. You've got hours of movie fun ahead. All right, yeah. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. Have fun, kiddo. Bye, Dad. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> Thanks. You just pull the latch three times. It should open. There you go. Easy peasy. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Looking for more presents for Wink? Actually, I was looking for you. Molly mentioned you might be here. You saw Molly? Yeah. Yeah, Jan's week and I were headed into the Christmas movie and bumped into her and Dora. Oh, so you got dumped? <laughs> Not exactly. Molly was a little concerned about you, so, uh, what you working on? Oh, just my big pitch to save the wharf. How's it going? Well, I'm the only one left, so it could be better. This isn't a last-ditch effort to get me to move, is it? I promise it's not. I was just wondering what you're up to. Do you like s'mores? Yeah. Okay, you're doing great. <laughs> just a little bit further. You know, when, when you said s'mores, I didn't realize that meant hiking through rock and terrain with a blindfold. It's s'mores Nantucket style. Oh. At least you're wearing better shoes this time. You trust me, don't you? Is that a trick question? Okay, stop. Right here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Breathe that in. <sighs> Nantucket Lighthouse. You said it was a special spot for your mom. Thank you. So where is this fire pit for the s'mores? Right there. You are lucky I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> it's so peaceful out here. Whoa, marshmallow's done. <laughs> okay, well, it was peaceful. <laughs> okay, yes. so take a graham cracker. Okay. And then you need red and green M&Ms, like that. And then. Ta-da! Nice. A Christmas morning. Once again, good call. <laughs> it might be hot. Oh. Careful. My mom used to say, life's too short to not find joy, so... I try to look for some every day. That can be really challenging to remember when life gets tough. I know. Have you ever been married? No. I came close once, but... He didn't believe in marriage. Oh. Until he met someone else while we were dating. That's rough. Yeah. Part of me knew he wasn't the one. It was just a feeling, you know? Yeah. We didn't have that... connection. Well, you deserve someone who recognizes how incredible you are. Thanks. But you don't know me that well, so... <laughs> I know. It's just a feeling. You know, my dad asked me today if there was something between us. My friends ask the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, people can be so nosy. They just need to learn to mind their own business. Totally. What'd you tell him? 
No. Of course. Yeah, of course. Me too. <laughs> I mean, you just got divorced. It's probably the last thing on your mind. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And then there's all the stuff with your dad. I mean, talk about complicated. So... We're, we're in agreement. Yeah. 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 You cold? No, I'm fine. No. Don't be silly. Let me do this for you. <clears throat> there. You're really sweet. You're beautiful. What were we talking about? I don't remember. Okay. Spill the beans. All of them. There are no beans to spill. Molly said that when he picked up his daughter last night, Andy looked like the emoji with heart eyes. Okay, there may have been a kiss. Okay, but did he convince you to move? What? No. It's not like that. Andy is wonderful. I actually have some ideas for rehabilitation that don't require full destruction. I would be open to that. Which means I have to talk to Oscar and apologize. Mm. I'm going to take responsibility for my part in this and hope that he hears me. What can we do to help? Nothing. Just make sure everything is perfect at the snowball tonight. The theater troupe is at your service. It'll be my best work. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the highly anticipated snowball featuring the Festival of Trees. Thank you, Jacob. Come on, sweetie. Good evening. Good evening. I hope you'll save a dance for me. Oh, well, we'll see what we can do. Come in. It's all going to work out. What if it doesn't? Christina, you look so beautiful. Thank you, Wink. So do you. You all look beautiful tonight. You're looking pretty sharp yourself. Oh, thank you. It's OK, Dad. You can go and dance with her. I'm going to go hang out with Dora. <laughs> OK, uh, just stay inside, all right? OK. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. <laughs> this is all amazing. Is that? tree covered in cotton? It's a fog tree. Oh. It's an homage to the Grey Lady, which is a nickname for Nantucket because we get the fog. Ah, I got it. And this is a lighthouse tree to help us see clearly. Very clever. Clever enough to win over your father? I don't think so. Maybe I should talk to him. The short bit's actually quite good. You're holding up the development. That's what I want to talk to you about. But first, let me apologize for getting off on the wrong foot. The uh, tree, the lighthouse, I had that decorated for you. A little kindness at Christmas never hurt. <laughs> With that said, I would love to discuss the idea I have for restoring the wharf instead of destroying it. You don't put a Band-Aid on a root canal. You need to drill down to the root and start again. The wharf is in no shape for cosmetic repairs. Frankly, it's not safe. There has to be a way that we can find a compromise here. You mean like distracting my son? I promise you, I have genuine feelings for Andy, and I would never do anything to hurt him or wink. I actually have a really personal reason that this is so important to me. Christina. This is my business. I can't just change an entire development schedule and plan based on one person's personal request. I can't lose my shop. Please. It's everything to me. And I think you're coming from the same place. 
I need you to understand. It's my legacy. It's, it's my tradition. No, I need you to understand. All of this is not going to change anything. The decision is final. Leaving? I tried, Andy. He said no. There was any way I could fix this, please know that I would. The shop is all I have of her. You think if you lose the shop, you're gonna lose your mom? She painted the mural. Her love is seeped into every ounce and fabric of that place. It's... It's what made me who I am. You're so much more than the shop. Am I? Every memory I have is connected to that place. I don't know who I am without it. Please, what if I want you to stay? How can this work between us when your dad and I are at such an impasse? What did you say to her, Dad? Nothing she hasn't already heard. She needs to stop manipulating. She is not manipulating me. No, it's her personal reasons that's not allowing this development to move forward. You're doing it for all the same reasons. Why can't you see that? What are you going on about? You're doing it for mom. She's doing it for her mom. You're both trying to preserve a legacy. You need to look in the mirror, Dad. You're just defending her because you have feelings for her. So what if I do? Maybe you wouldn't punish me for moving on if you didn't feel guilty about caring for Janice. Do whatever you want. Everyone deserves to be happy, Dad. That includes you. Come on, kiddo. Let's go dance. You might need this a little hot chocolate to keep you warm. What's in it? Carob? No, it's the real thing. Thank you, Janice. You're good to me when I don't deserve it. You're right. Sometimes your actions don't deserve it. But you're a good man underneath all those layers. Luckily, you pay good money to keep me patient. Smiling suits you. I was rash with Christina and with Andy. I overreacted and stepped in business that wasn't mine. I just don't want Andy to get hurt. Your heart's in the right place. But you know, I've known Christina a long time, and hers is too. Apparently, she and I aren't that different. I was just so blinded by wanting to honor my wife's legacy with the war, but I couldn't see that she was doing the same thing. I think your wife knows how much you love her, and nothing and no one will ever replace her. But Christina makes Andy happy. Shouldn't that be a good thing? That's what Andy says. And he also said, you make me happy. Do I? Do I have to say it? Well, a woman likes to hear it. You make me happy, Janice. Once more, but with feeling. How's 
bowl of dad. Dad? Oh. Sorry, sweetie. What, what were you saying? Are you thinking about Christina? What makes you think that? Well, when you're working, you're always on your phone. It's okay if you like her, Dad. I like her, too, and I like it here. I like being here, too. So if you wanted to come here more often, Dad would be okay with it. Really? When did you get so wise and grown up, huh? You must get it from your mom. I think I get it from you. I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Now, what are you two up to? Setting up the reindeer. Does it look good? It sure does. <laughs> it's gonna look even better when it's all lit up at night, huh? Hey, Dad, look, I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. I'm proud of you for standing up for what's important to you. I know you'll do a great job running point on this development. That I thought the work was the last job that came to mom. It's time for me to retire. For real. But it's going to need someone here who cares and will do it justice for the community. Which means you'd need to spend more time in Nantucket. What do you think? No. Hey, let me in on this hug. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Well, I don't know how Christine is going to take it. Actually, you know what? I could use your help. Whatever you need. solution. Did you know the Pink Bistro was closing? What do you think about us sharing the space? Mr. Biddlesman. This is a cute place. Don't worry, I'm leaving. That's not why I'm here. I know I didn't make it easy on you. No, not really. You know, I was uh, supposed to retire. Doctor's orders. Except I was stubborn. Took one last job to honor my wife. No matter the cost of my health or those around me. I know my wife wouldn't be happy if she knew how I was acting. We all have our good reasons for doing the things we do. I'm realizing it's just how we go about it. I understand now how important these four walls are to you. I promise you, though, you'll never compare to the memories of your mom that you hold in your heart. It's what I try to tell myself. Sometimes, Life forces change upon us, not because we're being punished, but because we're ready for something even better. After all, how can you let the new in if you're holding on to the past? Well, if uh, you'll excuse me, my retirement officially begins now. What about the war? It's still moving ahead as planned. But Andy will now be running point. Luckily, he's the nicer Biddlesman. Oh. I was asked to give this to you. Andy said a wise woman gave him this advice. Maybe it'll help you too.
doing great. <laughs> Where are we going? You'll see. Don't you trust me? Very funny. <laughs> okay. Turn. Heading up. Now right foot up over the log. Left foot. Good, good, good. Okay, right here. Turn out. Perfect. And voila. The lighthouse. It's your spot. Actually, thought it could be. This could be all our spot. What are you guys doing here? We got Christmas Eve s'mores. <laughs> I thought this would be a good time to create a new Christmas tradition together. And we hope you'll join us for Christmas dinner tomorrow. It's going to be a big feast. I wouldn't miss it. I guess I'm not an island after all. Nope, you just live on one. <laughs> not getting rid of us that easy. Especially not you. Should we tell them? Seaside Toys and Molly's Reach will be moving into the old Pink Bistro. We're still gonna be neighbors. Woo -hoo! It's a Merry Christmas! Doesn't matter where your toy store is. Your mom will always be with you. I know that now. My mom would just want me to be happy. You know, ever since I met you, you've been spreading joy everywhere you go. That's who you are. So, we wanted to spread some joy to your new walls. Merry Christmas, Christina. Ta-da! It's your mermaid! <laughs> she's seen better days, but... <laughs> but she's ready for a new home. It's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> means so much. You and Wink came in like a gust of wind and changed my entire life. Ditto. Like my mom used to say, sometimes you have to just let go and let the wind guide you. Dad, what about the fire? Good thing I brought a lighter. <laughs> <laughs>